Taurus, I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back, Tauruses. It is the month of November 2020. So, Tauruses, uh, um, this month of November is the energy of the star. It's an air energy, energy of the star. And uh, um, it is a month of healing. Um, you should know that. And what is transpiring is that justice um, is here. And some of you are finally um, releasing yourself out of some sort of a legal issue um, that was going on. So whatever is happening and transpiring, a lot of you Tauruses, uh, justice is coming up uh, because you were dealing with some sort of a, a legal issue that was just strong and out for a very long time. Finally, it there is an end in sight. Some of you, some sort of an imbalance, dishonest, on on alien things that has transpired. Justice is here to bring balance and to also give you a full pledge moving forward in a very, very wonderful way. Okay. So I want to say, Taurus, please remember to cross watch. Um, cross watch. Um, Wow, you're not dealing with anyone except things. Oh my God. Only news is going to be coming in at all moment. It's going to be coming down. Oh, hey. So whatever is happening and transpire, this month is going to be going very, very fast. And some sort of an issue and situation is going to be transpiring. The first week is the energy of the Empress, which is an earth week. The first week and the last week is good. Second week and the third week, especially third week, for some of you might be good, might not be good. Um, but um, secrecy, secrecy is in the second week. And whatever the secrecy is, you're still going to be having this new start. So when we're looking at the energies in the month of November for you Tauruses, the Ace of Wands is here. And some sort of a new start is going to be coming up for some of you Tauruses. So some of you Tauruses was going through some major issues in your life, major issues, major situation in your life. And what is happening is that you are going to be receiving news that a new start is going to be coming in. This new start is going to propel you in a really positive direction moving forward. And this is very, very good. So, um, you know, sometimes you have to go through hardship in order to create your, um, what it is that you need, what it is that you're looking for, what it is that you're moving towards. And I see you have gone through the storms, the hurricane, the tornadoes, and you're going to be receiving a new story. There is a lot of emotions and, um, you're coming out. There is a lot of emotions that is transpiring. There is no question, a whole lot of emotion. Um, and be aware of this emotion because you have to heal this emotion and work on this emotion. As you get to the last week, the first week and the last week is the best of this month. It is four weeks in total. Um, first week is earth energy. Uh, second week is water. Um, third week is fire. Fourth week is fire, but it's good. It's a sun. Your energy, you're going to be having this vitality and you're going to be moving forward and you're open for anything that is coming in and things are just going to be picking up and it's just going to be going very, very fast. And this is going to be wonderful. Okay. All right, Tauruses, let's look at your reading. So my darling Tauruses, so the energy of the Empress. So a lot of you are going to be dealing with your wife or your mother your wife or your mother okay so be aware of this a whole lot of you are going to be dealing with your wife or your mother some sort of a new start is going to be coming in some of you you have lost a whole lot of opportunities but i see these opportunities are going to be coming back to you okay then we see um the energy of regrets regrets um because of some lies and deceptiveness a whole lot of regrets regrets because some of you ladies especially um ladies 50 years and older you're going to be having a whole lot of regrets because of lies and deceptiveness in order to find out 
what was happening, what was transpiring, what were these lies and deceptiveness. So you are um, going to be receiving some sort of a um, new start that is going to be coming out and you are going to be making some sort of a transition um, for yourself that you're going to be creating your own wealth and stability. So regrets and ladies, but it doesn't have to be ladies. Um, it is a form of uh, um, some some of you with your wealth and stability. So check out the mo full moon to see what is coming up in your um, uh, second house of wealth. But a whole of you are going to be realizing, um, especially women, um, you regretted a situation. You found out uh, the lies and the deceptiveness that someone has created over another person. And it could have been you, um, you ladies who have kids, um, you ladies who were uh, married. Um, I see that you're going to be finding this out. The energy of the moon is here. And with the energy of the moon, there is a lot of secrecy that is going on. And I see a whole lot of secrecy, a whole lot of emotions, because some sort of a secrecy is going to be coming out in the second week, ladies and gentlemen. Listen to your intuition. It doesn't really matter what you do. In the second week, listen to your intuition. If you had some sort of a legal suit that must pay out, it is going to be happening in the first week. So the second week, some sort of a secrecy is going to be coming out about um, something that you were not aware of. And it has to do with some sort of a documentation. So you, Tauruses, was not aware that some sort of a secrecy was kept um, over some sort of a documentation and you are going to be finding this out. You were not aware of what has happened and what has transpired. And all this information is going to be coming out uh, and you're going to be finding out the truth that someone had lied to you and it has to do with an Aries person and lied to you and you're going to be finding out the truth because you're going to be finding the documents okay um then we see secrecy and with the secrecy that comes out for some of you it is going to be bringing you some sort of a new start so they're going to be finding out something about a um cancer and um you are not regretting it because they're realizing um, the lies and deceptiveness of a cancer and um, how this cancer had created a lot of issue. And they're going to be finding out exactly what this cancer and who this cancer is. And that this cancer has done this act in um, another country and another and, and, and different places. OK, so it's something whoever whoever that you're dealing with, I see regrets. I see you found out some sort of a secrecy and you're walking away. You're just walking away. You're just left leaving people behind and just walking away. Okay. The tower moment in the fourth week of fire, the third week, a fire week in the, the third week and a tower moment came down. And I see some of you are going to be having a new start because they found out um, there was a lot of people who were speaking, um, weren't speaking the truth. And I see it's as if it's an Aries. They're finding out, a lot of people are finding out something about an Aries that an Aries have not been speaking the truth. So I see truths are going, a tower moment is going to be coming down, removing the blocks away from you guys, uh, giving you a new start, and they're going to be finding out that an Aries has not spoke the truth, okay? Then we see some sort of a, whatever is this tower energy is removing, it needs to be removed out of your life. And this tower energy is coming in um, where it's removing something that has been blocking a whole lot of you, issues, conflicts, uh, obstacles, and news is going to be coming in. And I see that uh, whatever this news is all about, it is all a, um, a bittersweet um, emotional situation that is going to be coming up and transpiring. A very bittersweet, okay? So um, don't worry about this. Now, it's as if some of you were blocked 
um, waiting for some sort of a um, new start. And it's as if this new start was taking so long. And I see a huge tower moment came up and release you guys out of uh, um, some horrible situation that was playing around you that you were not aware of. Just huge, just uh, unexpectedly huge, unexpectedly um, huge situation is coming up and transpiring. So what we see is that definitely um, the eight, there is a lot of infinity. Um, this is going to be a fast, fast month. Okay, things are just going to be going very fast. It's as if the delays are over. Okay, the delays are now over and a lot of things are going to be moving faster. So be aligned with yourself and with this energy. It is um, um, the first week is going to be emotional. The second week is as if uh, you are regaining because you found out uh, um, that people weren't speaking the truth uh, and you're standing your ground. The energy of the sun is absolutely wonderful. It's absolutely um, good. Um, some of you are going to be having a passionate, it's as if your energy return after um, this shift of energy with the style moment is as if your energy return and you're feeling super excited, super good in the last week. Um, so everything, the last week is just going to be going fast and fast and fast. And some, you know, if you were blocked, if your company was blocked, if you were having issues, um, issues that was, um, keeping you sleepless night, that sort of a thing, it's going to be over. Things are going to be moving so fast, um, that it's unbelievable. It's as if unexpected luck. Um, it's, it's as if not only success, but luck is going to be coming in the fourth week. And this is really a successful fourth week for a lot of you. So as we look at the energy of you ladies, some sort of a secrecy is going to be coming out. And um, you're going to be very emotional or you're emotional um, about the secret that came out and you ladies found out about it. I see truths is, um, and you found out that people weren't speaking the truth. And I see, uh, finally a new start is going to be coming in for you. And I see this new start is going to be propelling out of nowhere for you. Then, um, we see the energy of, uh, you are over the regrets, over the regrets from some sort of an issue, um, that has transpired in the past. It could have been a legal issue or it could have been how people have treated you unfairly. That is a resolve and you're moving forward because you're going to be receiving the message in the third week that whatever the issue and the problem is or was, that was created around you. This is lifted up and you're going to be finding this out. Um, so it's absolutely fabulous. Um, some of you um, would have gotten a lot of business, but um, it's as if someone tried to create some sort of a problem. So I see some sort of emotional, and if you guys were having emotional situation, heartbreaks, anything that has to do with emotions, or there were things that you should have gotten, but they did not come to you, I see um, a new start is going to be coming up. They're going to be creating this new start. So a lot of um, a lot of you are going to be dealing with a whole lot of communication, a whole lot of communication, and you know receive it a lot also. And I see a whole lot of you are now open um, for whatever comes in for you. You're open for whatever because I see some of you decided I don't want to be at this place coming next year. So I'm going to be changing my life. It's a beautiful, beautiful reading. I love these cards. They are so powerful. So, wow, it is absolutely, absolutely fabulous. Um, you're leaving this month on an extremely high energy, high frequency that is going on. So I see some of you ladies are going to be finding out some sort of a secrecy. A huge tower moment is going to be coming down. 
and you're going to be successfully coming out of uh, um, some blockages that was created, some horrible conflicts that was there. Some of you are going to be very emotional because you're going to be receiving an emotional at, at start and it's just going to be going so fast and it's as if this um, new start is spinning out of control. So I see emotion, but it's, it's as if uh, it's unexpected emotion. A whole lot of people are going to be finding out what exactly has been transpiring and how people try to manipulate their way and manipulate situation in their favors. And I see truths are here. The prison whaler, the prison whaler, um, self-sabotaging poverty constructiveness. Okay. Poverty consciousness, um, is here. And let it go, Taurus. That's not you. Let it go. Use the source of truth and the scale from justice to balance this out. It's not you. You do not go in this prison of whalers. Okay. That's not you, Tauruses. Then I see definitely a lot of you. New start. You're going to be, if you're thinking of the work for yourself, it's a yes. Go ahead. Um, if you wanted to, relocate whether work or business yes go ahead the diamond dreamer is here and i see materialistic wealth is going to be coming up for you taurus true prosperity is here for you taurus so this is going to be absolutely absolutely fabulous the ringmaster of uh, um uh, um serenity is here discernment clear vision and detail so um, you know, Taurus is you're having a really powerful month. There is no question about this. It's a month of healing, but your healing is coming in so unbelievable, powerful that you are going to be creating some sort of a power shift for yourself, Tauruses. And this is going to be good because you have justice here that is going to be helping you guys. So for your numbers, I see changes is going to be happening. Um, in the way that you, you do business or you, um, you know, share your information, a lot of changes. Um, the diamond dream is also going to be here, which is going to be good. That is going to be bringing you a lot of wealth and, um, work promotion. New business could be coming in for a lot of you Tauruses. So, um, that is good if you're looking for a new business. Um, if you want to become an entrepreneur, Free lines, more business is going to be coming in. So let's look at your number. So Taurus says you have six. Um, definitely some sort of a transition is going to be coming up in your world where you Tauruses are going to be having a clear vision and seeing the truth about a situation because the Ten of Swords is in reverse. Um, then we have the prison whaler. Um, and it is the energy of number 31. 31 is 4. So you have a 4, 6, 9, 31. 4, 6, 9, 31. A lot of you are going to be overcoming issues. A lot of you, money is going to be returning back to your bank account. Um, some of you, you were um, extorted a whole lot of money. And this is going to be a return to your bank account. So um, it's about money. It's about keeping the money flow is, is about keeping your wealth. And you see the diamond dreamer is going to be bringing you Taurus something in order to help you to create prosperity in your life. I do love you Tauruses. Please um, thumbs up and share these videos. I love you. If you would like to see the extended, it's just $1.99 per month. Um, use the link to be joined and become a member. I gotta go Tauruses. Namaste.